This video is supported by viewers like you. If you want to help me make more things like this, consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you. In Vienna, if you want to go somewhere by public transport, this is what you do. You go to a ticket machine, buy a ticket and get on a metro, tram or bus. A bit unspectacular, but in most cities, unthinkable. Because no one ever checked your ticket. So, that's normal. No, it's not, friend. Normal is when you need to feed a metal contraption your ticket before you're allowed to enter. How about that ticket? Which is why people, ticket without, keep on trying more or less skillfully to hurdle over said metal contraptions. Might be entertaining, but due to the fall hazard, not the greatest idea. In Vienna, on the other hand, there's no turnstile, no barrier, no nothing. Whether you've got a ticket is still checked, of course, but only in random samples by friendly personnel in uniform or plain clothes who will give ticketless you a juicy fine and a two hour lecture on metro station art installations. And our next piece, please stop, I won't do it again. Now you're thinking no turnstile is actually kinda dumb because fewer checks equals more fare evaders. But that is not correct. In 2019's Vienna, only 1.9% of passengers didn't have a ticket. The actual figures are obviously higher, because one could, at the sight of ticket checks, sneakily slip away. But since working with unknown numbers is kinda pointless, we're left with the official ones. And those tell us that fare evasion is not a serious problem in Vienna. Theoretically, you could prevent it completely, but that would be so impractical and costly that you can take the idea and throw it out with the trash. Still, Fair evasion is always unfair and wrong, Franklin. You're a bad boy. Shame on you. Why has Vienna so few fair evaders? Easy to answer, that is not. But since you've been watching so loyally till now, you'll get a toaster and a few explanation attempts. Toaster's limited to 0.28 units, not legally binding. Anyway, if you need a toaster this urgently, you should buy it yourself. Those are cheap as hell. The network is far and dense, intervals are short, and the vehicles reasonably clean. For good service, you'll gladly pay. For a 20 minutes late, meandering piece of junk, reeking of pee, not so much. 2 euros 40 for every route within the city is really affordable. And the 365 euros for an annual pass are only 1.7% of the median net income in Vienna. That is, in transportation planning jargon, not much. Somewhere else, a zone system only complicates things. Possible that while logarithmizing your fare, you have a little breakdown and just go without a ticket. In Vienna, no matter where you want to go, you pay your 240 and that's it. Ticket having and ticket less cannot be distinguished when there are no high jump obstacles. And since it looks like everyone else has got a ticket, you get one too. Checks by humans, not machines, utilize the fact that we are social beings. It's true, says so right here. And we really don't like being singled out as rule breakers. With some metal contraption, you don't get embarrassed. Public transport minus turnstiles isn't unique to Vienna though. Especially in German speaking countries, but also far beyond, many cities do a similar thing. Now the big question, is turnstile less always better? That I can answer with a decisive, hmm? One thing's clear though, in Vienna it works. So as long as the public transport system stays afloat and fare evasion is a rarity, there's nothing quicker, more straightforward and more comfortable than zipping around the city on turnstileless public transport.